We hope that you enjoyed our bracket challenge. Sorry, I keep burping all the burgers. Alright guys, so today we're going to do the Value Burger Bracket Challenge. So we have our four contenders here, PJ is blindfolded, and we're going to have two rounds. First round is going to be meat and cheese only, and then the second round, if they make it there, will be the full burger. It's going to be a double burger on whatever they have on their value menu. So the first round is just going to be meat and cheese? Just meat like and cheese. The Why? most important part of the burger. This is interesting. I've never just had the meat and the cheese on its own. Why didn't In-N-Out make it? In-N-Out's top tier. This is the value. So, so there is no value menu at In-N-Out even though everything there is value. All right, number one seed versus number four seed. Number four seed first. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just the meat. The cheese is okay. It doesn't have that strong cheese flavor. It kinda feels like, like fake cheese. But very juicy, not too greasy. It's a good balance, not too salty. But I mean, it tastes like, like a processed burger. All right, number All right. one seed. Yeah, number one seed. Cheese is a little bit better. It doesn't have as much as a fake taste as the last one. The patty feels thinner. Mmm, interesting. Mmm, okay. Looking at both of them, the cheese is, was marginally better on this one. But you know what's crazy? I actually like the patty of the number four seed. So between the number one and the four seed, I think we have an upset here, fellas. I have to go pick number four. All right, number four seed moves on to the next round. All right, next matchup. We have the number two seed versus the number three seed. Let's get it, number three seed first. This cheese is really good. Oh, this is definitely the best cheese I've had so far. Nice little salty bite. It doesn't taste as like fake and like, I don't know, gummy as like the other ones. The other ones feel like kind of plasticky to be honest. Moving on to the burger. This one is same thickness as the number four seed. A little bit on the drier side, but definitely thicker. All right, let's move on. I'm enjoying that one. Number two seed. Number two seed already feels there. This is good cheese also. This burger patty is better. This one has really good cheese, not as good as number three. The burger is better. It's the same kind of size I felt like, but this one's juicier, has a really good balance. If I had to give my vote between the number two seed and the number three seed, my vote goes to the number two seed. Number two seed! <laughs> Made it! Number three seed, you put up a great fight. You really did. But you're out of there. Now the final round. The number four seed versus the number two seed. All right, so moving on to our second and final round. We have to say goodbye to some of our good contenders today. The number one one seed is gone, <laughs> the number three seed is gone, see you later. So now we have our final round where he gets to try their double value cheeseburger just as it is. We have our number four seed here and our number two seed here and I'm touching the buns with my hands. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna get to taste my hands. So let's start with our number four seed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let me taste that. Ugh, God. <laughs> you totally taste it. All right, let's just go for this bite. Purple. Ugh. Okay. Cheese is good. Has a good meltiness on the patty. Bread's a little on the heavier side. The burger doesn't really shine as much with all the bread. I don't like it because the last thing I can taste is the bread. I'm not really enjoying this one as much anymore, but the patty itself is really good. And the cheese is good. Came out with all the bread here. Let's try this one. It sounds nice and tight right here. Do you hear that? <laughs> Dense. I feel like there's a lot of stuff right here. This is good. This is really freaking good. Overall, this is a really good burger. A great balance between the meat and the cheese. The bread is nice and soft. You don't get that heavy bread flavor. I feel like I kind of like the patty on this one better. This is a really good patty flavor of the burger. That one was more enjoyable. I'm not, but I don't know. The patty is really good though. It looks like he's pretty swayed. We'll see. We'll give him some time to deliberate and then we will be right back to announce who's the champion. <laughs> Alright, so after much deliberation and judging you know, everything from the first round and the second round, the number four seed had a really great burger flavor. It was my favorite burger patty. The cheese was pretty good on that too. However, in the final round, I could just taste that there was so much bun in the burger, so it wasn't a very good ratio. Number two had a pretty good patty, nice and juicy, definitely not flat. The cheese was good too, not as good as number four. But when I had the final burger, I just kind of enjoyed it more, but it was a shame that it didn't have a better tasting burger patty, and the cheese was honestly in the middle of the pack. But if I were to give my final pick, for which I think is the best value burger, I'll have to give it to the number two seed. Number two seed, everybody. All right. 
Always fresh, never frozen. What? Wendy's. Oh my god. Wendy's the winner. Wendy's BK. I could use BK by the by the sesame, sesame seed. seed but... Wow. Their burger overall is just really good. All right, guys. We just want to thank you for watching another video. We hope that you enjoyed our bracket challenge for today's best value burger. If you guys like this video, stick around for the whole month of March because we will be doing many more bracket challenge videos. If this is your first time watching us, we hope that you guys please press that subscribe button. And if you guys do, join the notification squad and press the bell button down below. We hope that you guys had a fun and food adventure with us. And I guess we'll see you guys next time on Hype Food. Thank you.